Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home gym video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about, drum roll, please. Oh, I gotta hide my keys. Those are making a bit of noise. We are gonna be talking about weight plates. So here's the ones that I have, and I wanna talk about um, just the differences of them, some things that I knew, uh, I wish that I knew before I bought mine, and what you guys should get depending on who you are. So, <clears throat> <coughs> weight plates can be the most expensive purchase for your home gym or they can be the spot where you save the most money depending on what you get so for me what was you know there's a couple things that go into weight plates one function so just your ability to simply pick them up put them on the bar and you know that's their entire purpose right so there's um yeah now uh, we'll get into more on that in a second. So your ability, the function, uh, functionality, and the aesthetic. That's basically all weight plates are. And then I guess you could say the accuracy. So, you know, depending on um, where you get them. So there, there's kind of like, so those are basically the three classes of what they, what you would buy them for. Um, and then you have your super cheap ones that you're going to get off of, uh, you know, Facebook Marketplace, um, Kijiji what you guys use in the States, I forget the name of it. Um, so those are gonna be your super cheap ones that uh, someone's just trying to get rid of and, and they don't care about. <clears throat> Number two are gonna be good deals that you can find either online or maybe a gym that's closed down uh, or something like that. And then you obviously have your, your premiums. You have, um, you know, you can, for the most part, they're, you know, pretty well uh, at the same cost, but there are some that get really crazy, especially if you start to look at uh, calibrated plates or if you're going for, uh, you know, like a premium name brand like Alico or uh, Kabuki, Sornex, um, that kind of thing. So let's talk about the different styles of weight plates and why they matter. So first off, you have your just your typical iron weight plates, um, kind of like the ones that I, that I showed you. Th those ones are machined, but, um, <clears throat> you know, for the most part, uh like an iron weight plate is gonna be the same i'll grab one again here um so it'll have a lip on it and the lip is important because that's how you're going to carry it around if it doesn't have a lip then it's hard to grab and they're slippy and they're they're just really annoying so for me having a, a good lip on the on the plate was the most important thing and then also something that looks nice um so other than that you know that you can either get uh obviously there's uh bumper plates too so bumper plates are kind of in a whole category on their own, but uh, we'll start off with iron plates. So iron plates are going to be typically the cheapest ones that you can get, uh, the least functionality, and, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, some, I was going to say they look the worst, but that really depends on where you get them from. So, um, yeah, starting off with iron plates there, uh, in terms of functionality, you know, you pick them up, you put them on the bar. That's all you're using them for. That's why you got them. Um, if we move on to, uh, shooter plates, which are, I, I think that's what they're called, but they're basically like this, except instead of having a lip on the edge, they have holes in them. So this will actually provide you a little bit more functionality. There's a little bit more stuff you can do with them. For examples, uh, for example, you could, um, you can use them as dumbbells. You can hold them like this. You can put your hands in them. They're easier to carry around a little bit better functionality in, in a plate like that. Um, obviously your calibrated plates, those are going to be deadly accurate, um, right down to the ounce that's going to be for, you know, if you want to be, uh, most of people say that they're for like competitive weightlifters or powerlifters or things like that. If you want to, you know, make sure you're exact, 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 then you're going to want to get a calibrated plate. That's going to come with a much higher cost. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> and for the most part, if you're buying your plates new, um, they're going to be pretty well, pretty well bang on within spec, um, you know. Uh, give or take maybe half a pound or so. Anytime I've seen anyone weigh their, their rogue plates and uh, they're, they're always pretty well exactly what they're listed as. So for the average Joe, I wouldn't worry about um, the accuracy, because especially if you're buying new because they're all gonna be fairly fairly accurate. Stuff that you're buying off of, uh, you know, Kijiji or whatever, that's when you might wanna actually weigh them and, and just see so something's not like four pounds heavier than, than something else. Um, just to know that is important. So, um, yeah, so the, the shooter plates, the, um, uh, the, the, the lip on them is, uh, you know, important for just being able to carry them around and stuff. And 
yeah, you can do different exercises with different holes in them. Uh, I saw a really cool post by uh, Brandon Campbell um, showing basically with the shooter plates, you can actually put them. So we'll look at this one, for example, say the hole is right where the 10 is. Now I'm restrict restricted by ceiling space quite a lot in here. And uh, a cool thing that you could do is you could put the bar through that hole instead of the center hole and you could do like an overhead press or whatever and it doesn't take up as much space. So little cool things like that. I think the those plates are probably the best in terms of just sheer functionality, what you can do with them. Um, bumper plates are kind of the next category, like I said earlier. And bumper plates are cool because, um, <clears throat> and especially for a home gym, a lot of people seek out bumper plates because they think that it's going to do less damage to their foundation, less damage to their floor. I don't know if that's really true, but they certainly are uh, a lot quieter. And if you're into Olymp Olympic lifting and you're gonna be dropping your weights all the time, uh, you would wanna get bumper plates because they're actually gonna bounce. Versus if you get, you know, if you're dropping, you know, steel plates from your head, uh, your shoulder height, you know, uh, you could crack your floor, you could do damage to your house, uh, that kind of thing, but, um, yeah, so bumper plates are nice because they're a little bit quieter. They bounce better, a lot better. Um, and yeah, so a little bit more versatility with those. But the thing I don't like about bumper plates is they're super thick and um, they're hard to they're hard to grab. They're hard. They're awkward to carry around. So, I mean, if you're deadlifting more than 500 pounds, like you're not going to be able to do it with with bumper plates. It's going to take up too much space in the bar. So there's the chicken's quick tips on uh, weight plates. You guys let me know what you think uh, down below in the comments. And interested to know what plates do you guys have and why did you go that route? So let me know that down below in the comments. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you're still watching. And we'll catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Brack, brack.